Welcome to the presentation of Acu Work Order, an Acubus product published by Information Integration Group. Acu Work Order is a, developed in Acumatica code set and adds to Acumatica ERP the ability to generate work orders. It tracks for the generated work order quantity required for work orders and on, on work orders, as it allows you to schedule work orders on a drag and drop scheduling board. Uh, also, it shows requirements by item for all the levels of bill of material defined and gives the ability to create work orders, purchase orders, or transfer sales orders based on the replenish method, method defined by item. We're going to start the presentation in the calculate quantity to produce and purchase program. What this program does, it goes through all the kit specifications, all bill of material records defined, uh, and uh, by uh, displays every item and the calculated demand based on the transactions that are in the system. Uh, it gives you the ability to enter a ship date and only see the demand calculated uh, for the entered ship date. You could view all items, items for a specific warehouse, or enter a specific item and see the demand calculated for that item. In this example, there is no action needed to take for any of the components defined for this item. But if I check show item with zero quantity, it will display all the components that are defined for these finished goods, and I'll be able to, to look at the quantities in Acumatica. I could um, view the kit specification program and uh, for the selected item, for the selected item. Uh, so it would take me to the kit specification program where I'd be able to see the components defined for manufacturing this item. So here are the, some components uh, defined for manufacturing items, some uh, different color ornaments, some lights, and, and so forth. Notice that I have the ability to issue all the components um, in one at the beginning of the work order or the, when the product is completed, or uh, define the components by group ID and assign these group IDs to the different uh, steps in the manufacturing process uh, defined by the routing that have linked to this item. In addition to the routing and the group ID, we've also added scrap percentage and yield percentage uh, to the item and the ability to define options. And for each options selected, system gives you the ability to add components or labor or change the price or add a routing step. I'm going to uh, show us the routing program, the tree assembly, to see the steps that we've defined for manufacturing this item that we access right by clicking the make assembly program. So in this example, I've defined four steps for manufacturing this item. For each step, I've given it the group ID for releasing the components to the production area. Uh, I, I, have, I have entered what's the uh, duration for each producing each item, what labor code I want to assume, uh, 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 assign to uh, the generated as the default uh, labor code. Uh, I also have the ability to enter whether uh, which, in which step I want to create the uh, manufacturing, I want to create the finished good, and uh, uh, if I want to just add some items into a sales order and invoice the customer for it, if I have situations that I'm doing job shop type orders. So uh, system gives me the ability to also drill down to the item by clicking on the link and basically view. So to generate a work order is very easy. All I need to do is just select the item, uh, enter a machine code for it, uh, enter the uh, operator, and uh, if I, for the calculate, for the entered number, if I click on generate work order, system would ask me the options. I notice that one of the options is defined as a required option, and it will then go ahead and generate a work order and load that work order into, into Acumatica system so I can uh, basically uh, view it and decide what I want to do. So I can take us to the work order to quickly see the generated work order. And we'll see that the work order is generated for the quantity. It has the four manufacturing steps as defined as part of routing. And I can click done and access any of the manufacturing steps. And again, here I would see all the components that had a group ID one 
which was uh, linked to the first uh, step in the routing process. Uh, when you create a work order, uh, the inventory is not impacted, but as soon as you remove the product from hold and uh, allocate components, it would go ahead and reserve the quantity uh, of the components that are entered on the uh, work order and it would add to your availability uh, for the finished goods. So we, we do manage that for you. So you have visibility over what is being uh, produced and what components uh, are, will be, are being consumed and they would no longer show us available uh, uh, quantities. You can enter a uh, lot and serialize for the uh, numbers for the components that are being used and the lot is here for the finished good. Once you click on allocate components, uh, as I mentioned, it, it commits the inventory and adds to the quantity available. Once you release the components, it moves the uh, components uh, from uh, the location that they're in to the shop floor. So you have the ability basically to see that the product is no longer in the location that you had defined and that product is actually not on the production floor. Now what happens for uh, for the steps that are not the manufacturing step, it puts the quantity aside and when you complete the manufacturing step, then it issues all the components uh, from the location that they were defined to the make assembly transaction and lets you create the uh, create the finished good. So if I wanted to uh, generate a, a purchase order I could uh, for, for the items, I could basically decide uh, which item I want to generate a purchase order for. In this example, I have a quantity of 15. I could just, uh, if I want to change the vendor, I can. Uh, otherwise, I click on create purchase order and the system will go ahead and uh, create a purchase order and load it in system. And if I have set up my Acumatica, so the quantity and purchase orders impact is the availability, that 15 demand would not be shown there anymore. But I have the ability to see all the other transactions that are in the system for any one of my items, any sales orders, any purchase order by viewing the MRP screen uh, very easily from here. I also have the ability for the items that are defined as uh, with, with a, uh, replenishment source of transfer, generate transfer orders. And so let's uh, see if we see an item. Here is an item that has a transfer as a replenishment source for it. So if I enter the quantity here, a uh, system would go ahead and uh, generate a transfer sales order in Acumatica for transferring the product. So I could go see that transfer sales order generated. And that gen transfer sales order would be for the generated quantity. Uh, for for to be transferred. Uh, since I'm in the sales order entry program, I can quickly show how product, uh, how a sales order a work order would get generated from the sales order module. Here I have the ability to just put in the same item that we've been working with. Click on generate work orders, specify what machine codes, and what revision of it. And uh, basically, as I save it and click on generate work order system again would ask me for the options that I've defined and then force me to enter uh, the prompt uh, for the required. Uh, it would give me the ability to, uh, if it's uh, the replenishment, so it's a different warehouse, it would let me define if I want to issue the components from the main warehouse or the re replenishment source warehouse, I can do that. So it just generated this work order, it's linked to the sales order, and I have my for manufacturing steps. And if you recall, one of the steps I had defined as uh, the components should get issued back into the sales order. So I have the ability here to enter a product in, in, in my transaction, maybe some of these Lego sets. And if I uh, remove this off of hold, uh, save it and release it, what the system would do uh, since I've told the issue to the sales order, would give me the ability to load these items into the generated sales order. So very easily, I have the ability to, to generate uh, uh, additional items, uh, this generated lines for the additional labor and material consumed as part of my manufacturing and invoice to customers. So if I'm doing a job shop, I'm working on an item, uh, I put that item on the sales order if there's some uh, additional work that needs to be done on it. I could generate a work order step and my routing in that scenario could just have one step that loads the components back into uh, the sales order 
uh, I, and I build a customer for it instead of adding them to the finished product and, and, and so selling the finished product. So, uh, so, so far we've looked at our CapCut quantity to produce purchase screen. We've generated a, uh, we generated a, uh, a purchase order, a transfer sales order, a work order. We also have the ability to do auto scheduling if that's what we want to do. Uh, we have the ability to look at the shortages by work order, uh, the print different reports, standards versus variance, uh, and, and so forth as, as needed. And of course, we have the ability to view our manufacturing steps on a drag and drop scheduling board. Here I have the ability to see uh, my, my manufacturer. Each one of these cells represents a step in the manufacturing process. Uh, so if I right click on it, I can change the status of it from released uh, to set up or uh, vice versa. I can, if someone tells me it's gonna take longer to do this, I can drag it and make it bigger. Um, uh, uh, so, um, and of course I can create multiple views uh, I can create, uh, create different views uh, and have each uh, views be set up with this proper uh, filter for the specific work order type and status. Uh, and I can set up uh, each row to represent certain number of hours and my shifts could be uh, set up as different views by entering the starting and ending time for the operation. So, so very flexible uh, scheduling board, giving you the ability to move uh, product from one one machine to the other, from one day to the other, make it longer, shorter. Um, uh, so it's a very, uh, our uh, work order processing product is very easy to implement system. We provide you the import scenarios for bringing the additional fields in the kit specification to generate the routing and to start using the system. Thank you for uh, attending and, and please give us a call for additional information.